What is going on everyone? Welcome back to 2 Geo Z Garage. In the last video, we did the first start on the C4 Corvette in 12 years and today we should be doing the first drive on the C4 Corvette in 12 years. If you guys missed the last video, I put a fuel pump in it, blew out all the air and all the gunk out of the fuel lines and it started right up. Had to add transmission fluid. That's one of the things that I left off in the last video. I already added the transmission fluid. Transmission's good. I actually moved it from its spot all the way over here because before I take it on the first drive, I want to give it a nice clean wash. You guys can see it's been sitting under the tree for a long time. And it's got a bunch of tree debris and leaves and moss and all kinds of crap. Now, it was very low on transmission fluid, I will say. And I added about almost a gallon. I think actually a little more than a gallon. It's a good thing I didn't have it running for too long the last time we started it up. But it seemed to be going in gear just fine. I went through all the gears, checked the fluid. It's good. I don't know. Maybe, I don't know, we're going to find out. We're going to see if it drives, but let's get this thing cleaned up because I am excited to drive this thing and fingers crossed it works out. I'm going to start it up now so that the engine will warm up, burn some of that water off. dry the car up but I'm not even gonna bother because it looks like it's about a storm there's no real point in me drying it up if it's gonna get wet anyways but it looks way cleaner than before and like cleaning it up just made it made me realize even more that this car it's just so clean so clean this thing is mint like it's it's in really good shape it sounds so good honestly Cleaning it up makes me not want to sell it because it just looks so freaking good. I'm falling more and more in love with this thing. So the Corvette is ready to go. The only problem is my cameras are not. I'm gonna wait for the cameras to finish charging up and then we'll go for that drive. It should be pretty fun. I'm just gonna go around the block real quick, make sure it goes through all the gears. Probably go up to about 30 miles an hour if that, but I just wanna make sure it drives. And maybe, I don't know, I might not do it. I might do a burnout. I don't know, I just, I really wanna give this thing some some gas and see what it has in it. I'm open up the windows. The only thing I'm concerned about is it says service engine soon. I don't know why. I don't even know if the lights work. How do I even turn on the lights? All right, we got I'm lights. I'm low key scared too, I'm not gonna lie. Now that I'm out here, I can show you guys, look at this. The pop-ups, they work nice and bright too. Fingers crossed, she don't break on us. All right, let's go. It went to second. Oh, I forgot this is automatic. You don't have to see how you can do. I will say, it feels weird. Like, it's got like a hop. Yeah, they the can tell from my camera. I do need the tire. I know the tires need to be replaced. They're old. It's driving though. Oh, this is yeah, look at all this. Here. It's driving nice.
just did a bunch of driving and she forgot to press record. No, I thought you recorded. You're recording. You should you should watch that. Alright, we're gonna go for the first drive. Okay. It drove good. It's been driving good. Second. I can't get it to go fast enough to go to third gear. You can see our car from here. Step on it here. Alright, let's get on it a little bit. nice and solid I don't know why that service engine soon light is on it's bothering me though this is so cool over here I will say that the car does probably need an alignment and needs new tires the tires to be balanced it just spun the tires yo that's pretty cool second gear or third gear whatever that was it just peeled that was crazy yo this thing's got some power good to check all the fluids and make sure everything is good what i will say is it definitely drove nice i think all it needs is those tires and probably an alignment and the brakes i don't know the brakes are working i feel like the booster is just leaking vacuum because every time i hit the brakes you can hear like air leaking so i probably need a new brake booster to fix that and besides that i think then this thing will be drivable and be sick it's already drivable this thing is so cool i barely pressed the gas and it started peeling out that was insane i low-key wanted to do a burnout but i was like you know what now nah, let me not upset my neighbors and that's gonna be it for today's video if you guys enjoyed please be sure to hit that like button and consider subscribing to my channel if you have not already if you'd like to see more of this corvette project the Skyline R32, the 350Z, the Toyota pickup, and all that other good stuff. Let me know down below also what you guys would like to see me do with the Corvette. I'm really looking forward to hearing your guys' feedback. I hope to see you guys in the next video. Peace.